this property demonstrates what the Beverly Hills lifestyle is all about. Luxury, attention to detail, and true simplicity. A feeling of peace and tranquility flows through your body upon entering the home. It has a truly relaxing and contemporary design that truly makes the guests or the owner of the property feel like they are in their very own modern paradise. This is a $16.8 million Beverly Hills modern mega mansion with one of the best entertainment levels that we have ever seen. It's got an NFT gallery, private sauna, one of the best backyards we've seen. We've got so much to see today and we're about to tour this home right now. So let's get started. We are here today in sunny Beverly Hills in the flats specifically. Rodeo Drive is just a quick four minute walk and a one minute drive from this newly constructed modern property. Upon entering through the private pedestrian gate, you can see that we have the use of impressive landscaping displayed on either side of me. If we take a look over here, you've also got the river rock details sectioned around this area. I think this space looks really nice and tranquil right outside of your modern estate. Now, before we check out the massive two-story entry with the pivot door that looks like it's nearly twice my height, I actually wanna take you all to my right-hand side. Very briefly, you can see that we have the motor court here leading up to your wooden paneled garage section. You've got the wall sconces displayed on either side of that. Smooth stucco finish surrounds the exterior of the property, paired well with a nice tile work detail that you also will see as well. You can probably fit about four cars here at this section of the motor court, but then it actually goes even further down. So you can tandem park a couple more over here. You've also got backyard access from this section. One of the nicest backyards we might have ever seen. We definitely will be checking that out later. You've got massive trees around the section, adding plenty of privacy to the home. And one of my most favorite things is that Every time you walk up to the entry of your home, you were looking at the palm trees here, right off of your private street here. As I said, we're right next to Rodeo Drive. So luxurious, one of the most prime locations here in all of Beverly Hills. Now, as I mentioned, I'm six foot three for reference and you've got the pivot door here, which might be the tallest we've seen so far. And you follow me in through this section, which further takes you into your one of a kind, open concept luxury entry. Now, this space has these two-story high ceilings with the collection of impressive light fixtures displayed right above me. You've also got a skylight which brings natural light into this section all day long. In front of me, we've got access into the family room, formal dining area, well-appointed kitchen, and the beautiful backyard space. And before we mention anything else too, I just wanted to show you that you've got the gorgeous spiral staircase which is floating off the ground, leading you up to level three and down below to the entertainment level where you actually have your very own NFT gallery, which is pretty remarkable. We're gonna check out all of those sections a little bit later on in the tour you should definitely stick around, but the first thing I wanna to mention to you all here is this formal living room area. Upon entering the section, you've got contemporary staged furniture all throughout. You've also got views of your modern architecture here with the floating staircase, as I mentioned, and you've also got this picture window displayed on my left, looking out to all of your front yard foliage, the Beverly Hills palm trees, and your private street, which is truly remarkable here. 
brings natural light into the space all day long. Also, if you pan up for me right here, you can see that you have a little bit of a raised ceiling detail with the integrated LED light strips inside of that section. We've got a beautiful modern light fixture positioned above the space as well. Marble details here are enclosed around that fireplace. You've got the artistic bookshelf nicely built into the space with the dark espresso color wood here with more integrated LED light strips. Overall, an impressive luxury feeling inside of the space. Now let's continue our tour through the section. You've got the massive hallway and this space kind of doubles itself as an art gallery as well. You can see you've got the built-in wall sconces above your staged paintings right here. Now this hallway takes us into the formal dining, family room, kitchen, and backyard, but I actually wanna show you one more thing here and that's going to be, again, your floating staircase. But look at the light fixture that is actually positioned in between this section. So, it hangs all the way from the third level ceiling nearly down below to level one. It's an extremely gorgeous statement piece. It's kind of its own art piece as well here. Absolutely gorgeous. You've also got the wooden railing here taking you down below and up above to your top level. Now let's continue our tour through this space here. On my right, you've got access into your executive office space. Upon entering the section, again, it's staged with contemporary furniture. You've got the built-in wall sconces right here, and these actually have marble details on here, which is something we may have never seen before. That is really luxurious. You've also got the built-in bookshelving here, again, with that espresso wood tone with the integrated LED light strips. Over here, you've got your integrated closet storage, and all of the doors here are soft closing high ceilings in the section. You've also got an ensuite bathroom here with a floating vanity, glass enclosed, a walk-in shower space, which is nicely tiled. And you also have the built-in rain head and body spray inside of there. Now let's continue our tour through here. Follow me back through the section. As I said, you've got the gorgeous floating staircase. And in the section as well, you also have this massive artistic window here that is nicely frosted for your security and privacy. And that just brings an abundance of light into the home all day long here. Now we saw this hallway a little bit earlier. It takes us into a couple of those rooms that I mentioned, including the kitchen and the family room. But before we see those, I also wanna take you down to my left. On my right here, you've got the elevator access with this really unique handle design, which I think is really cool. And this space takes you down below to the entertainment level with an NFT gallery and up above to the top level, which has all of the remaining bedrooms, including the primary suite. Now, following this little hallway here, we are led into your well-appointed powder room, which has this massive floating vanity. You've got the fabricated sink, mounted mirror, and a nice backsplash, which actually matches your hardwood floors here. Now, continuing outside of the space, I wanna take you guys all to my right-hand side here. This space is extremely open concept. We've got the family room, formal dining, and kitchen. So first things first, let's talk about your formal dining room here. You've got seating for up to eight of your guests here at the section. You've got the hanging light fixture positioned above the space. And if you come a little closer, there's kind of these chain link designs suspended from the light fixture itself. That is something I probably have never seen before, but that is really cool in my opinion. Also, if you pan up for me, you actually have this horizontal wooden panel detail displayed above, which adds a lot of character into the space. I like that it is exclusively limited to the top of your formal dining space. It looks really cool. Right here, this is very interesting as well. So you've got this rustic stone design going from floor to ceiling with the glass enclosed fireplace here. You've also got two picture windows on either side looking out to the Beverly Hills foliage. And in front of me, we've got the family room and the backyard access. Before we see those sections, I wanna take you guys all in here to your well-appointed modern kitchen. 
Upon entering the section, you can see that we have the center island here with a breakfast bar seating for up to four of your guests here. You've got three glass enclosed light fixtures right above the space, stainless steel sink here, and a couple of other details. But before we see that, I wanted to show you this right here. You've got really amazing modern cabinetry throughout here. You've got all of the pull-out drawers here, which are soft closing as well. And if you want, you can actually conveniently hide these cabinet doors right here, which is something really interesting that I like. You've got some uppers displayed above the section. And right here, you've got your seamlessly integrated side-by-side -side Miele fridge freezer, which is really, really nice. And it's also nicely paneled here with the natural wooden tones. So you may have not even noticed that they were there. Now located in between this section, you have another Miele refrigeration space. This time it's gonna be a triple zone wine cooler. You've also got all of your pull out wooden racks here and the space is also nicely glass paneled. Now something else I wanted to mention, you've got some more luxurious cabinetry right here with all of your pull out racks. And what's interesting, the pull out spaces are actually glass enclosed too with the more darker tone wood to complement the natural. Something else very interesting right here, this is a secret room. You probably didn't even see that it was there. And it leads you into your well-appointed pantry, complete with floor to ceiling shelving all throughout the space. Now I'm gonna close up the secret room. Look at that, it completely disappears. That is so, so unique in my opinion. Also, one more thing I wanted to mention too, all of these are 3D textured as well. The vertical wooden detail, really nice. Continuing our tour, we've got more quartzite countertops with the waterfall edge detail. Stainless steel sink overlooks the formal dining area. More seamlessly integrated cabinetry throughout. And we've also got panel dishwasher here, nicely paneled. You might not have even known that it was there. Now, continuing our tour, we've got your six burner stove top with a double oven situated right below. Quartzite backsplash complements the countertops. And what's interesting, your hood is displayed right above the stove and is also wrapped here with this quartzite detail, which looks really unique. I don't think I've ever seen a hood wrapped with this type of stone. I think it looks very, very luxurious here. You've got very high ceilings in here. And what's interesting is that your main kitchen actually seamlessly leads you over into your secondary kitchen here, where you've got another center island, slightly smaller than the first one. It's still got the quartzite details on the countertops, complete with all of this custom cabinetry here. All of it is soft closing as well. You've got another Miele design refrigeration space here with the pull-out freezer doors displayed right below. And they're all clad with this natural wooden detail, all nicely paneled as well. You've got the four burner Miele stove top with the oven situated below. More quartzite details are wrapped around the hood. You've got the stainless steel sink, more quartzite details. You've got some uppers right over here and you've got the integrated LED lights in there as well close it up and those lights also turn off. Really nice, two glass enclosed light fixtures above. And if we snake around through this section, you've got your mud room right off of your garage with the wooden panel door. And next to me, you actually have a secondary powder room. Upon entering, it's slightly smaller than the first one. You've got another floating vanity with the quartzite countertops, nice tile backsplash throughout also got the mounted mirror with the LED light strips displayed below. And you also have more LEDs below your vanity. Pretty nice detail. Now that is almost it for the first floor, but we still have to check out the beautiful, well-appointed family room. Upon entering the section, if you look up a little bit, you actually will see that we have the same light fixture that we saw above your formal dining room with more of the chain link designs hanging from that section. I think it is a nice statement piece in the room. You've got more contemporary staged furniture all throughout the space here. You've got this stone detail extending up to the ceiling with your fireplace displayed below that. And if we take a turn over through this space here, you have a bit of a kitchenette detail. Open this up, you've got some built-in refrigeration with the pull-out racks. You've got the similar stone detail here that we saw near the formal dining room. And if we move on through, if you pan up one more time, you will notice a continuation of those LED integrated light strips throughout the room here. One more thing I also wanted to mention is that 
from this vantage point, you have two sets of Fleetwood sliding doors further taking you out into the impressive backyard here. And we're just gonna go straight into it. Upon entering the section, you've got a private patio space with wooden panel details displayed here on the ceiling of this patio. More outdoor seating is displayed on my left with a stainless steel clad fireplace, which is a nice addition to the space. You can have all of your friends and family over, maybe on a cool winter night, have the fire going, listen to your water feature, or when it's more of a hot summer day like it is today here in Beverly Hills, you can be relaxing here on one of your four pool chairs right off of your impressive pool. You've got the water features displayed on the far side of the section. You've got the nicely integrated hot tub in the space as well. You've got the turf designs around the section. You can let your dog run around. You can let your children play out here comfortably. You've also got tons of privacy in the backyard here. Look at the height of these trees here as well. I mean, no one is gonna be seeing here into your backyard. You've also got the retaining walls surrounding the property here, and you've also got some beautiful plant life around the section. And displayed on my left, you've got the outdoor kitchen with tons of seating. You've got seating here for up to six of your guests here at this slightly raised bar detail. And if we move on through just a little bit, we've also got the stainless steel barbecue. You've got the sink, refrigeration space, and you've got an outdoor ice maker, something we may have never seen before until today, but that is pretty cool. Now, one more thing I also wanted to mention here, if you look at the pool for a second, you have this quick button that you could press. So in case you're going away for the weekend and you wanna close up the pool here, you can actually completely close off the pool with this little cover, which goes across the entire section. I think that is something very unique that we have never seen before. And then if you look back at it, it is actually just simply retracting. So again, if you're going on vacation or it's a rainy day, you don't want the water to come into your pool. Simple, quick and easy fix. Now let's continue our tour down the section. Beautiful views of your modern architecture here as well. And if we move on through, we've got some more of the turf details. And I wanted to talk to you all about this section right here. Take a look at this for a second. You've got your outdoor shower. How luxurious is that? No modern backyard is complete without one of these here. And when you're showering here in the outdoors, you're looking here at this pink plant life. You're looking here at your impressive pool, the water feature, the foliage throughout. I mean, this is truly a spectacular backyard. Also, you've got street access here from that gate there. And you've also got some city views there of Beverly Hills, which is really nice. One more thing I also wanted to mention first, got to turn this off and then got some additional plant life. And then one more thing, glass railing and this staircase actually takes us down to the lower entertainment level. We've got a private gym, pool table, NFT gallery, poker table, it's got everything. And why don't we just head down there and check it out right now. We have just made it here into the lower entertainment level with amenities such as a private gym, wine cellar, steam room and sauna, NFT gallery, movie theater. We have a lot of things to see down here. The first thing I wanna to mention to you all, you've got your staged poker table, which can sit you and five additional friends. And it's actually nicely under your floating staircase here. And it feels really cool and kind of private and sectioned off from the rest of the home. And if you look up from this vantage point, you get views up all the way to the top of your third story ceiling with that absolutely impressive light fixture that I mentioned to you all a little bit earlier. Coming down this section, you are led into a massive bar, which has seating for up to five of your guests here. You've got the quartzite countertops here. And if we look at the inner workings of the bar, you've got all of this nicely paneled cabinetry with no handles present, giving you that nice minimalist feeling. You've got the built-in sink over here and got your built-in ice maker, which is really essential to have in an entertainment level like this. Got some additional refrigeration here too. Now on my right, you've got this very artistic light fixture set up complemented with this smooth stucco back wall. 
adds a lot of character into the room. In front of me, we've got a temperature controlled wine cellar. It's completely glass enclosed and you've got space for all of your favorite bottles of wine here. I mean, just take a look at this. I'm six foot three for reference. It's literally taller than me. That is so, so gorgeous. Just look at that. Now over here, we've got the steam room and the sauna and the gym, but I wanna take you there a little bit later. Coming through this section, we've got the game room. We've got the staged ping pong table, pool table on my left. You've got this impressive kind of propeller designed light fixture above me, super high ceilings here. And this is where your NFT gallery could be. You've got three massive flat screen TVs. They are currently showing us some nature television channels, but yes, this is where your NFT gallery exists for you. Really cool, you can display this to all of your friends while you're playing a round of pool or ping pong, which is really cool. Now I wanna backtrack a little bit, take you here to your artistic bookshelf design. It goes from floor to ceiling, and instead of the espresso wood that we saw earlier, this is gonna be in more of a lighter tone with more of the integrated LED light strips throughout that section. And you actually have these sliding Fleetwood doors, which further take you into this private courtyard, which is complete with your very own living wall here. But the trick is it's actually not living, but it looks like it's living. So you never have to take care of it. It's gonna look this green for years and years to come. Looks really nice outside of the space here. And then you've also got amazing architectural views from this vantage point. If you just pan up a little bit, you can see all of that custom wooden paneling under your cantilevers. I think that looks really, really cool. Now, right off of the courtyard, we also have access into your gym here and then your steam room and your sauna, but we're actually gonna backtrack in here just a little bit because there is a very major amenity that we have to show you all come down through the space. Through here, we are led into one of the best movie theaters we may have ever seen on this channel. You may have noticed a bit of a change in the audio. That is because this room is completely soundproof here. You can see that you've got the plush padding here on the walls to absorb all of that sound. You've got seating for probably 10 to 15 people in the space. You've got the massive screen with the projector mounted over there on the ceiling. And it's also nicely carpeted throughout here too. So you can walk here with your bare feet and it feels very cozy. Come through here. We also have some built-in refrigeration here because you have to entertain your guests with snacks when you're in the theater. You've also got plenty of snack storage here as well. And if you open this up, you've also got a little media closet with some additional storage here. Pretty, pretty cool, wrapped with the natural wooden tones, which I personally really like. Now, let's continue our tour through the section here. If you follow me back down this hall to my right-hand side, we've got the lower level powder room. It's very similar to the one that we saw on the main level. You've got the floating vanity with the integrated LED light strips, got the mounted mirror. Now, one more thing I wanted to mention, you've got the elevator access here on my right-hand side. And continuing our tour, just look at how impressive this lower level looks. There's so many more components that we haven't even seen, but I wanna take you down here very briefly. We've got the laundry room with space for up to four appliances here. You've got all of the built-in cabinetry, which is nicely soft closing, lowers and uppers, and you've also got your built-in sink inside of there. Now, on the right-hand side of this laundry room, We've got access into the guest bedroom for this level. We get more natural light into the section. We got contemporary staging throughout, integrated closet all through here. You've got all of your necessary built-ins. This is a very healthy amount of storage just for being the guest bedroom. That's pretty remarkable. Also, of course, there's soft closing, which I love. Then you've got the ensuite bathroom here with your floating vanity, mounted mirror, glass enclosed, walk-in shower space is nicely tiled up to the ceiling and you also have the ceiling mounted rain head. Now let's continue our tour outside of the space. Very nice open concept. And the moment you have all been waiting for on my right, this is remarkable. You've got your steam room right next to your sauna. Look at how luxurious and modern this space looks here. I mean, just take a look here. You've got all of the integrated LED light strips. You've got the vessel sink, the floating vanity. This looks really, 
like a Batman movie or something. This is just so, so cool. Got the glass enclosed steam room here and just look at how massive it is. You and 10 of your friends could have a workout and then come relax inside of here. You've got, of course, the built-in body spray. And if you pan up for me, look at the size of that rain head. One of the largest we may have ever seen. You also have a built-in speaker here too, in case you wanna listen to music while you're here with your friends in the steam room. Also, one more thing, if you pan up for me, you actually have some more of those horizontal wooden panel details above the space as well. Again, adding some more character. And what I like is that the room is a little bit dim on purpose. And the reason they did that is because when you come in here, you wanna relax. You don't want a bunch of bright lights giving you a headache. This space feels very peaceful, very zen. Like when you go to get a massage, it's very, very relaxing. Got the glass enclosed sauna here, wrapped with wood throughout the entire space, even up above me on the ceiling here. You can easily sit here with you and 10 more of your friends if you like. I mean, seriously, this is a luxurious hotel-like amenity, complete in your very own mega mansion here in Beverly Hills. But this is awesome, what are your thoughts? Super cool. Now let's continue our tour through the space. We've checked out almost every room. Believe it or not, we have one more major amenity, and this is your staged gym. You've got the mirrors displayed on the far side of the room, giving you that true, authentic gym experience when you're working out inside of here. And this is the ensuite bathroom. But what's interesting, if you pan down for me, you actually have a unique tile work that represents a wooden detail carrying itself all the way into the glass enclosed walk-in shower. It's also got that similar tile work, wood design detail going up to the ceiling. We've got the massive rain head built-in body spray, and of course, like all of the other rooms, got the floating vanity here with all of that custom cabinetry. Now there's one more detail inside of here. Got to continue through this section, and this is going to be your walk-in closet. Motion sensored lights are here as well. Floor to ceiling built-ins all throughout. It definitely checks all the boxes, but what do you think? I think this has got to be one of the best entertainment levels here in Beverly Hills. I mean, you've got literally everything you could possibly imagine. And on that note, I wanna take you guys all back up the spiral staircase up to level three, where we have the remaining bedrooms and the primary suite. So let's go check it out. Coming up your spiral staircase, we have just made it up to the third and the final level for the property, which is going to contain all of the remaining guest bedrooms here. You've also got a little bit of a seating space right off of your landing. One more thing, you've also got this additional assembly of light fixtures going down to the lower level, like I mentioned to you all a little bit earlier. You've also got a collection of four skylights displayed right above the section here bring in tons of natural light all day long to the space. You've also got some more impressive staged artwork throughout. And on my left, you've got another laundry room with space for two appliances. You've got upper and lower cabinetry with a built-in sink. You've got your elevator access. And now the main event, you actually have a private pivot door here. Yes, an indoor pivot door taking us into the primary bedroom suite. Upon entering, you will notice that it is the most spacious bedroom out of the entire property. If you pan up above for me, you've got the vertical wooden panel detail clad on the wall displayed all the way up here to the ceiling. You've got two wall sconces displayed on either side of your primary bed. And on my left, we've got a stone detail extending up to the ceiling, containing your fireplace inside of the section. You get tons of natural light, views of the Beverly Hills foliage. And what's really cool, so you actually have this Fleetwood sliding pocket door, which further takes you out into the primary bedroom balcony. Got some seating areas displayed on my left and my right hand side. We've got some pool chairs and you actually have 
another stainless steel fireplace like the one we saw down below in the private patio. And you stand here, you've got the glass railing overlooking the impressive backyard here. You can see your pool chairs, you can see the water feature. You can even see Century City in the distance all the way to the brand new twin towers that have just been built. And then, as I mentioned, more Beverly Hills foliage on my left completely private from all of your neighbors. Really, really nice. Now let's continue our tour back inside of the section. You've got a little seating space and then we have this door which leads us here into the primary bathroom and upon entering we've got a collection of five skylights if you pan up a little bit for me. Bring in so much natural light into this space. Get more views of the Beverly Hills foliage and of Century City here in the distance, you've got this gorgeous freestanding tub, again, surrounded by all of these marble details. You've got the glass enclosed shower, which is also clad with all of those marble details. Again, even going all the way up to the ceiling here, you've got the massive rain head mounted on the ceiling. You've got another rain head displayed on my left, built-in body spray. Now I'm gonna close up this section here. I also wanted to mention your dual vanity setup which is floating off the ground. You've got all of the natural tone, custom cabinetry throughout. If you follow me down here briefly, you've got access to both of your water closets. And we also have a bit of a third vanity, which is ideal to be a preparation area. We've got marble details again up to the ceiling here. And if we continue our tour, we are just seamlessly led into one of the most beautiful primary closets in all of Beverly Hills here. You've got your floor to ceiling built-in cabinetry displayed all throughout the space. Before we check out the Chanel section, I wanna show you all, this is gonna be where your shoe storage would be. It's all conveniently sloped downward for you. You've got the integrated LED light strips inside of the section. But one more thing I wanna mention, this is remarkable. The Chanel section of your closet. So if you're into Chanel, this is the closet for you, I'm serious. Chanel literally everywhere. You've got all of the glass paneled cabinetry and all of this is nicely soft closing. You've got the integrated LED light strips surrounding this entire section. And if we continue our tour down through this space, I just wanna show you real quick. So you open this up and the lights turn on seamlessly as you open it. So, so cool, I love that detail. And if you're not into Chanel as much, maybe you're into Hermes just a little bit more. This is your Hermes filled closet, beautiful floor to ceiling shelving displayed all across the section. You've got more of the glass paneled cabinetry which is all soft closing here. Integrated LED strip lights are also shown throughout. Hermes everywhere, even Hermes blankets. This closet is made for true luxury and chances are, if you're living at this property, you may be shopping at Rodeo Drive quite a bit, so this may just be the closet for you. Now that pretty much concludes our tour for the entire primary bedroom suite. So now we're gonna head back out to the main hallway and check out a couple of the remaining bedrooms. We are back into the upper level hallway as we saw a little bit earlier. We're gonna take a left-hand turn and we have the next guest bedroom for this property. Upon entering, you've got contemporary staged furniture throughout, high ceilings, and you actually have these Fleetwood glass sliders, which lead you into a private balcony where you can enjoy views of the Beverly Hills palm trees, views of your private front yard and your private street as well. Pretty nice detail in my opinion. You also have a walk-in closet complete with tons of built-in cabinetry. And continuing our tour, we've got the ensuite bathroom with marble floors and marble walls displayed all throughout, high ceilings, and you've got the glass enclosed walk-in shower that doubles as a bathtub. Now let's continue our tour outside of this section here. Also, you got natural wooden tones here on all of the doorways as well, which I do really like. Now let's head down through this section. To my left, we have the second to last guest bedroom for the property. Again, you've got more contemporary staged furniture throughout. 
you've got another set of Fleetwood sliders, again, giving you the same view as the last one, the private street, the palm trees, and your front yard. Now, moving through this section, we've got the ensuite bathroom here with the floating vanity, LED light strips below and above, wrapped below that mounted mirror. You've got more marble tile work throughout with the glass enclosed, walk-in shower space with the massive rain head, and you've got your walk-in closet with tons of built-ins there on my left. Now let's move on down back to the hallway. One more thing I also wanted to mention here, you've got all of your well-appointed linen cabinetry here. If I open this one, you can probably see a little better got floor to ceiling storage and spots to hang your coats, maybe your clothing, some towels, some bed sheets, and they're all soft closing too. And now behind me, this is the final guest bedroom for this property. We get more natural light into the section. This is staged as more of a children's room. Got the two twin beds, tons of natural light. You've also got Fleetwood sliders looking out to your backyard section. And if we continue our tour, we've got the ensuite bathroom complete with marble details from floor to ceiling here. You've got the mounted rain head, floating vanity with the integrated LED light strips. And you've also got the walk-in closet complete with all of your necessary built-ins. Now, that concludes our tour for the entire property. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, comment down below if you haven't already. Also, a huge thank you to Rochelle Mays for allowing us to tour another one of her impressive listings. You can find all of her information down in the description of this video, and I will see you in the next one.